Hi, my name's Dave Webb from Venture Caravans and I'm gonna show you around this Mervy Morocco XL. It's a 2014 plate. It's a three litre automatic on the Fiat Ducato 180 multi-jet engine. Show you the pitch from the side. It's got the uh, Fiamma F65S awning on it. A nice large step to get in and out of the side doors. Just take you around the outside towards the back. You've got reversing centers on the back. The cassette toilet is fitted with the SOG system. For those who are familiar with that. It has the auto gas filling system for the gas supply. And now I'll take you inside. So as soon as you open the door here, you have a massive long bench seat um, and two swiveling front captain's chairs there. Plenty of room and light all the way around it. Like I said before, a large step here. Obviously this can be a single bed, but as you can see in the floor rails, you can slide that whole system forward and make it into a double bed. And it's a very spacious and comfortable double bed. As we step inside, you've got loads of LED down lights underneath the cupboards. You have your control panel over here, which includes the Webasto heater, diesel heater and your battery voltage is recorded on this compact display. And then you have your water levels and your lights and switches, things there. You've got um, plenty of cupboard space and you've got your speakers in the corner. So there's lots of cupboards around all the way through and optional shelving to put in it. So you can take the shelves out if you want to, nicely lined with carpet. You've got a bracket for a option TV here and a, or a 12 volt socket and a main socket. Um, the actual TV comes with it and it's behind this panel here. So you've got an Avtex TV that sits behind this nicely upholstered cover. The kitchen area is spacious. You've got this fold up shelf that you can put there to finish off the worktop. Hot and cold water. Plenty of cupboard space throughout. Nice fridge Dometic with works off gas, electric and 12 volt for when you're driving along with a removable freezer compartment. Nice drawers, everything about this is robust. Electric hob and three gas burners. Main socket up in the corner here. You've got a pull down blind at the back, lighting underneath, microwave on top, and an extractor fan um, omnivent in the roof there that can blow air in as well. So you can either be used for blowing air in or for extracting when you're cooking. I was just wondering what that is, and that's your igniter for the hob. Nice and spacious throughout. You've got a great big wardrobe in here. And there's a couple of spare cushions and a freestanding table, a, uh, other than a separate table that goes on to a bracket by the side of the passenger chair. Again, some shelves that can be moved or removed. The handle for the awning is nicely tucked out of the way in the corner of the wardrobe and there's even sort of little shelves at the back of the wardrobe you really utilizing all the space and all finished in a superb way for the washroom you have the dometic toilet there and a little sink the shower is just behind the door here and then you have a nice skylight there um, and also a rail for hanging things there. 
So all in all, a nice spacious motorhome um, on a van conversion. Not too small, not too big. Um, and, you know, nice and sensible with the automatic gearbox, cruise control, air conditioning. So the drive is nice too. You've got blinds for the front windows all the way around. And they pull up by lifting that unit there and you've got the front one which pulls up from the front here hopefully you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some sort of an overview of this model thank you for watching